so my uh, friend sent out this uh, tweet uh, telling us all that he's having a uh, video game uh, party at his house and to uh, bring your own controller. So I just uh, took my Ouya controller. I expected we'd be playing some uh, uh, some uh, first-person shooters, but no. Uh, when when I got there, he pulled out this um, this uh, Wii 2 thing um, with a uh, with this stupid uh, iPad controller uh, with a pen, and uh, he turned on the console and uh, it, we were playing this uh, stupid game known as um, uh, Super Crash Buddies. And uh, the first thought is. Why did Nintendo make this stupid game? Why are all these German companies making these stupid baby games, and how are they still around? Uh, these, these stupid German companies like uh, Nintendo and uh, Sony really don't understand the market anymore, and that we are not kids anymore. We're adults, and why are they still making baby games when we are uh, adults? If you're a fan of Nintendo games, then you've probably dealt with Nintendo hairs at some point or another. Usually, an average Nintendo hair consists of your typical edgelord who you'll find at your local school. There are a fair amount of people who are older and just don't like Nintendo games or respect other people's opinions, but they're only in the minority. The type of Nintendo haters that I'm going to be talking about in this video are the ones I just mentioned a second ago. The idiotic breed of flesh that hates Nintendo games because the characters aren't cursing 24-7 and because the games are marketed towards kids. In this video, I'm going to be explaining why these haters are possibly some of the worst in the entire video game fandom. Thinking about this scenario for a second, you're in school, having lunch or something, just mind your own business, and one of the cucks at the table asks you what video games you like playing. You say you like playing Mario games and Zelda games and all sorts of Nintendo games. The cucks at the table then proceed to laugh their butt off and call you a baby because you play video games that aren't violent enough. You then either do what I did and get hurt by that, or you just simply brush it off and move along with your day because you know those kids that made fun of you probably have the IQ of a potato. Or you could just tell them how they're actually the babies in the conversation because they just can't respect a freaking opinion. Yes, unfortunately this is a thing in this day and age and it's disgusting. Humanity has gotten so bad that you can't even express your love for something as simple as Nintendo without being viewed as a baby or a pansy. The thing that makes it even worse is that the kids who think they're acting so mature and adult are actually being ridiculously childish because they're making fun of you for no other reason than to convince themselves that they're more mature than, you, than they actually are. What sucks even more is the reasoning. Most of the time if you ask a Nintendo hater why they hate Nintendo games, usually their response is typically along the lines of, Oh well, the Nintendo games suck because the graphics are utter garbage and isn't violent enough and you're wrong if you disagree with me. Because let's face it, for the most part, a Nintendo hater wouldn't know a good game if hit them in the face. And while it's true what games you like are subjective, in the mind of a brain-dead non-Nintendo 12-year-old, if the graphics aren't top-notch and if the story isn't dark and edgy and if it isn't marketed towards adults, that basically makes the game automatically a load of turds in their eyes. Which further goes to show just how retarded they are. The fact that they think a simple number of extra pixels and violence is what makes a game good is honestly quite concerning, honestly. As there are plenty of games I can name that may not have the best graphics, but they're still fun to play. Know why? Because the gameplay and level design is still solid and that's all that really matters at the end of the day, really. Don't get me wrong, graphics are a humongous key focus, but they aren't the main one. It's called a video game for a reason. It's like saying a movie is bad because it doesn't have your favorite actor in it. Like, what kind of logic is that? That makes no sense. And that definitely doesn't make the movie automatically terrible because of something that doesn't match your personal preference. These membranes need to realize that graphics aren't everything. What about the music? What about the story? What about the characters themselves? What about the level design? What about the freaking gameplay like I just said like two minutes ago? These are the five main things that make a game good, aside from the graphics. To be honest, in my eyes, the graphics should just be viewed as that one cherry on top of the delicious video game Sunday, rather than a factor on whether a game was good or not. You see, Nintendo hair logic is basically this in a nutshell. Hey, what's up, dude? Have you gotten the newest Mario game yet? No, that game's for babies. What? How come? Is Mario blowing a Koopa's head off? Well, no. Then it's a like baby game made for babies! It's marketed towards kids, you stupid idiot! It's dumb. Another really dumb argument is the argument that it's marketed towards kids, therefore I'm not gonna play because I'm not a kid. First off, you are a kid. If you're under 18 and you live with your parents, you're a kid. I mean, that's just fact. You're a freaking kid. Second, just because a game is marketed towards kids doesn't mean it's only for kids. Businesses always have certain demographics in mind when they make their video games, but that doesn't automatically mean that you have to be that target demographic in order to play it. I mean, just look at all of the 12 year olds who play Call of Duty, a game meant for teenagers and adults. Heck, I'd honestly just say that demographics are basically non-existent these days anyway. So the whole argument that Nintendo is just for kids is a load of bull. Especially when you know of Nintendo's more adult games like, like Fire Emblem and Xenoblade Chronicles. 
adults. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that if you're a kid who's getting verbally abused because you play a Nintendo game that's school, just keep doing you because the scumbags are bullying you or actually acting more immature than you even if they say otherwise. So keep on exploring those fields of Hyrule, continue to save Peace from Bowser for the 1000th time. And finally, just keep playing what makes you happy, because at the end of the day, that's what matters most. Ignore what the insecure fact says, and keep being a Nintendo fan, because, let's just face it, I mean, without Nintendo, gaming probably wouldn't be as relevant as it is today.